Welcome. Today we're going to talk about how I set my iPad up to be focused. I've previously talked about focus modes. There'll be a link above for that um, in my iPad OS 15 features video, the ones that I really liked. Today we're going to talk, like walk through how I set up focus modes and how I use it to just make my iPad really focused and productive. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Number one, you can take one of my courses on Skillshare, find the links to those all below, or you can go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare and that will take you there and I get some affiliate fees from it. You can become a YouTube member with the join button below as well. Buckle up, let's start talking about how I set my iPad up to be focused. So let's start, talking, start by talking about what are focus modes. We go into our settings and if we go down to focus here, you can see we have focus modes. This is an extension of the old do not disturb system. So I have do not disturb off, uh, I actually have recording on. So this is one I use regularly when I'm recording. This actually allows no notifications. It calls from no one, apps from no one, and I turn time sensitive off. And we'll go through this again a little bit more um, because I don't want anyone to bug me while I'm recording. And I have had to stop many, many a recording because a notification comes through. I don't want to do that. The other thing it does for me is it opens up a custom homepage and it has filmic remote on that. I'm not going to use that in this video, but that allows me to see my iPhone with filmic uh, video recorder, filmic pro. Uh, I'll put the proper name below because I forgot it. And then I can actually see it on my iPad so I can frame my shots properly. And you can do that by coming in here, going to home screen and just choosing the home screen. Right? I can edit my pages. Maybe. Well, it seems that iPad OS is being buggy right now. I have a video about that as well, the iPad OS bugs. Usually you can choose home pages. There we go. And I can pick which ones I want. So Filmic Pro or Filmic Remote is the only one I want on that. So now we've talked about that one. Let's dig in to the rest of my focus modes. We're going to skip driving. We're going to skip do not disturb because I don't use them at all anymore. Don't even need them. First up, entertainment. So for entertainment, uh, this is Again, when I'm going to be doing YouTube videos, like watching them myself, watching Netflix, stuff like that. And I have a bunch of people that are allowed to message me, right? My wife, my daughter, friends, biking friends, my other daughter, my in-laws, uh, and I allow calls from favorites as well, because I'm happy to be interrupted during that time. I'm happy to have other people reach out to me and let me know about things. Next up, I allow calendar, FaceTime, and things. My daughters don't have phones, so they call me on FaceTime. That's why we have FaceTime up. Things just in case I have tasks come up that I really need to deal with and calendar so I don't miss any meetings. And also allow time sensitive. So with iPadOS 15, apps are allowed to mark their notifications as time sensitive. Unfortunately, we've seen a few apps, none of my personal ones, but I've heard a bunch of apps are saying, hey, my are totally time sensitive. You just need to see them and you don't really need to see that. Luckily, uh, you all, it does allow you to turn it off. So I've seen that on my phone a few times where it says, hey, this is a notification for things. Do you want these on or off or as time sensitive? And I can choose that this app is not allowed to send time sensitive notifications. So I've turned those on though, because uh, I do want to be interrupted. I have a meeting coming up and then I can actually, you know, not miss my meeting. So entertainment. And I also use a custom home screen for that. So this one here uh, allows me, you can kind of see it. Let's turn on my focus mode instead so you can see my home screen. So this one allows uh, Disney Discord, you know, a bunch of my chat apps in interacting with my Sonos, uh, Tweetbot, YouTube, and some pictures and music because that's what I wanted. The Birch Bark, Matt Birchler, his YouTube channel, I'll link to that. Uh, excellent uh, playlist that I listen to regularly. So this is the only screen that this allows. My next one is recording, which I already talked about. And then workout is the other one. So this has been really good for me. I uh, don't use an Apple Watch. I use, uh, what is this, a Garmin Enduro and a Garmin Edge 1030 Plus on my bikes. And one of the big issues I had for a long time was that everyone could message me. So I'd have like my cycling friends being like, hey, let's talk about tires. Let's talk about this. Someone fell. And well, I want to discuss those things. I don't actually want it while I'm working out, while I'm out for a bike ride. I want to just enjoy the ride, enjoy the scenery, enjoy what's happening around me. Um, but I do need emergency notifications from my wife uh, and now from my oldest daughter who, you know, can send notifications or messages appropriately. And this also allows me to have them show up on my devices now. I've never actually had a, a watch um, or bike computer that I allowed any notifications through because I just didn't want to be interrupted. 
But because these people will send me notifications, if it's actually relevant, I don't have to get off my bike anymore and actually check because I used to have to pull my phone out and see what the notification was because they had special ringtones for them. Now I can actually see it on my bicycle head unit or look at my watch and see what it is. So like yesterday when I was in workout mode, uh, I got, was getting an update on something my daughter was doing that her cross country race was finished and I was not able to make it, but I got to see what had happened, which is good. Uh, and I didn't have to get off my bike and find out. So when I go for a workout, I turn this on. Unfortunately, my devices don't work. Uh, my Garmin devices don't work to actually set up an automation to turn workout on automatically when it connects to my phone, but it's okay. Uh, so here I have my wife, my daughter, who will send me appropriate notifications. I have calls from, I allow repeated calls if someone really wants to get through, and I'll be able to see who it is on my head unit so I can ignore it or not and allow calls from favorites. The only favorites are actually my wife and the local used bookstore, that's it. I don't want the rest of them. And for apps, I got nothing, although I do allow time-sensitive notifications through. Really, I planned this in my calendar. There shouldn't be anything that I should see, but time-sensitive, we allow through just to allow some apps that may need to notify me if I forgot about it, because occasionally it does happen. I have no custom home screen for this, um, and that's really the only thing that doesn't sync between devices, your custom home screens. So my people and the apps I have set up will sync between my iPhone and my iPad. Finally, we have writing. So during writing, this is actually during the day mostly, so I don't actually, like my daughter is at school, she can send me notifications. And if she really did for some reason, that means she's in the house and there's something I need to deal with. I get allow calls from no one for this. This is actually, all right, anytime I'm writing, anytime I'm writing um, for this YouTube channel, for and their blogs I write for, I get into here. And I allow apps, I allow my calendar only, because sometimes I just get too focused and I don't see um, something that's happening and I probably should see it instead. And now for this, I also have a custom home screen. Uh, it allows, this is all it allows. It has a things widget and then my focus picker shortcut. So the other thing it does is if I turn on writing, so let's go here. There's a few ways I turn them on. You can turn them on by going up to control center and choosing them. Uh, you can actually turn it on by pressing the icon or you can get some more options by pressing the three dots on this side one hour until this evening until I leave this location. I have no location-based reminders because I like focus modes because I work in the same office. But for writing, we have a custom home screen. And see, this is sometimes it doesn't work. This should start some music. Let's go back to recording. And it should actually, let's go to shortcuts and show you. So this is something, again, I bug in iPadOS 15 that just doesn't work sometimes. When I turn writing on, it should actually open Obsidian for me, and it doesn't do that right now, or it didn't do that this time. So let's go back and try it again, because again, focus modes are great. They still do seem a little buggy. Let's go to entertainment. Now let's try my focus shortcut picker. So now we can go to writing. It opened up Obsidian for me that time. So Again, you can see there's some issues with when it opens, when the automations actually run, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, depending on how you have chosen them. Now for shortcuts, let's go to shortcuts and we can check out my automation. So now again, another UI bug in iPadOS 15. Let's retype it. Now can I click on it? And I can. Great. Uh, and let's go to focus. To do this, I just set a choose from menu, and I choose which menu item I want. Writing, entertainment, workout, recording, or off. You can see when I turn writing on, it should actually play my running playlist. It didn't do it, and it should open my uh, Obsidian Vault to uh, that location. It did that, actually wrote, opened it up to my writing um, Kanban board, which is fine. Entertainment just turns on until turned off, turns on until turned off. You can actually choose here time till I leave, till the event ends. So you can do some more animation like that. When I turn it off, it just turns it off. That's what it does. Um, now, the other big thing I do as I'm setting up my iPad is to basically turn off most notifications for pretty much every app because really nobody needs to notify me. And then I allow the very few that I have allowed all the time with focus modes that tailors who should be able to notify me when. Now, until iPadOS 15 released, I actually have a longer list of shortcuts that I used all the time that I'm not going to show you because they're all broken. Again, see that video I linked to earlier about what's broken in iPadOS 15. 
but I still do use a few. Uh, I use uh, this interesting one in things that opens up my tags for the day, my tags for the week. It's this one, things show tag. So I use mainly four. I used to use content calendar. I don't use that anymore though. I use this week, next week, this month, and next month in my shortcut. And again, just choose from menu. It opens up this week, next week, this month, next month, or it used to open my content calendar. I don't use that one anymore. So uh, I've just left it in there for now and have not cleaned that shortcut up. And the way that works, let's run it. I can show tags. Let's say this week. It opens up things with anything I've tagged for this week. So as I'm organizing my tasks, anything I want to do this week, I actually tag this week. Anything I want to do next week, I tag next week. Anything that needs to be done this month, I tag this month. Anything that needs to be done next month, I tag next month. And that lets me kind of organize it as my weeks go. So on Fridays, which is actually my recording day today, so later today I will sit down and I will look at all of this month's tasks. I will look at all the tasks for this week that didn't get done as most of the ones you saw up here are actually done. I just haven't had a chance to go back through and check them off. Uh, I'll check off one right now. I fixed the JS issues in HTML for that client. Uh, and then I'll reorganize anything for this week um, into next week because it just didn't get to it. And I'll update my clients on what happened this week on their stuff. And that's what I do. So with some shortcuts and with focus modes, which are excellent, um, it really lets me tailor my iPad to be focused so that I don't get interrupted all the time. Because it's really easy to set up your iPad or your iPhone to be just a notification mess so that you are never really going to get a lot of good work done. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you love to subscribe, you hit the bell. YouTube should let you know something happened. But honestly, turn off your notifications because you've got other things to do. Use your focus mode to let through what you should let through. You can become a YouTube member. They get my courses for free. And you can, or you can take one of my courses on Skillshare. You can find all the links below for Skillshare, or you can go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare to just join Skillshare, find some of my courses. Have an excellent day.